In this illustration, we intend to simulate the plane strain compression test in the Abacus software. In this training, first, we calculate the pressure applied to the plate using the Abacus software. Then, calculate the pressure applied to the plate using the analytical solution and based on the metal forming book. And finally, compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those of the analytical solution. In this picture, the pressure applied to the plate has been calculated using the analytical solution. And here, the results obtained from the Abacus software have been compared with those gained from the analytical solution. As you observe, there is a good conformity between the results obtained from the Abacus software with those gained from the analytical solution. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on Create Part. I intend to create a geometric shape of the plate. I select the modeling space as two-dimensional. Select Deformable and Shell. Enter Approximate Size equal to 50 and continue. Here I'll draw a rectangle. The width of plate is equal to 10 millimeters. The thickness of plate is 2 millimeters, but since the model is symmetric, we will simulate only half of the model. So I will enter the thickness of plate equal to 1 millimeter. Done. Here you observe the geometric shape of plate. Only please note this point that we simulated only half of the geometric shape of the plate in the Abacus software due to the issue of symmetry. In the next step, I will click on create part. I intend to create a geometric shape of the rigid part. I will select the modeling space as two dimensional. From here, select discrete rigid, then via and continue. I will draw a rectangle. Enter its length equal to uh, 14 millimeters and its width equal to 2.5 millimeters. Done. Here, since this part has been modeled in form of a rigid, we should consider a reference point for it. I will click on Tools menu, then on Reference Point, and consider this point as the reference point. In the next step, I will enter Property Module. Click on Create Material. The plate is made of aluminum. I will click on General menu, then on Density. The density of aluminum is equal to 2.7 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 9 ton per cubic millimeter. I will uh, click on mechanical menu, then on elasticity and elastic. The Young modulus of aluminum is equal to 70 gigapascal and I will enter that equal to a 70,000 megapascal. The Poisson ratio is equal to 0.33. In the next step, I will click on mechanical menu, then on plasticity and plastic. The yield stress of aluminum is equal to 150 megapascal. OK. I will click on Create section, then select Solid and Homogeneous and continue. I will tick on Plane Stress Strain Thickness option. The depth of the plate is equal to 40 millimeters. OK. I will click on Assign section, select the plate, Done. And OK. In the next step, I will enter Assembly Module, click on Create Instance, enter both parts into the Assembly section, and OK. I will click on Translate Instance. Select the plate. Done. First, select this point, then this one, and OK. In the next step, I'll click on Translate Instance, select the model. Done. First, select this point, then Coordinates System and OK. 
In the next step, I'll enter step module. Click on create step. Here, select dynamic explicit and continue. I will enter time period equal to one second. OK. In the next step, I'll enter interaction module. Click on create interaction property. Select contact and continue. I will click on mechanical menu. Select tangential behavior. Then select penalty. The coefficient of friction is equal to 0 0.1. OK. Click on create interaction. Here, select initial step. Select surface to surface contact and continue. I will select the underneath surface of rigid part. Done. Here, I click the underneath surface that is yellow. Click on surface. Select the top section of the plate. Done and OK. In this manner, the interaction between the rigid part and plate was defined. In the next step, I'll enter load module. Click on create boundary condition here. Select symmetry, anti-symmetry and continue. I will select this line, done. Since in this problem the model was symmetric, we simulated only half of the model. So here we should use the boundary condition of symmetry. Actually here the line that you observe in red color is the symmetry line. Here I will select Y symmetric option and OK. I will click on create boundary condition, select step one, then select velocity, angular velocity and continue. I will select the rigid part reference point, done. And enter velocity equal to negative 0 0.05 millimeters per second. In the next step, I will enter Mesh module. Click on Seed part. Enter approximate global size equal to 0 0.2 millimeters and OK. Then I will click on Mesh part and Yes. I will click on Assign element type. Select the plate. Done. Here I will put element library on explicit and put the element family on plane strain and OK. In the next step, I will click on seed parts, enter approximate global size equal to 0 0.2 millimeters, then click on mesh part and yes. I will enter job module, click on create job. Then click on Submit. The analysis was done successfully, so I will click on Result. As it was told before, we simulated half of the model due to the symmetry in the problem. Here we intend to observe the complete form of the model.
The simulation is done with the purpose of calculating the pressure applied to the plate or the same contact pressure. We will first solve this problem based on metal forming, met, metal forming book and following that compare the results obtained from the metal forming book with those got from the Abacus software. In this section, there are some explanations about the plane strain compression test. And we utilize this formula for calculating the pressure having been applied to the plate. Here I will present the parameters having been used for calculating the pressure. Y is flow stress. Mu is coefficient of friction. H is the plate thickness. And B indicates plate width. Y is equal to 150 megapascal. The coefficient of friction is equal to 0.1. H is equal to 2 millimeters. B is equal to 10 millimeters. And W is equal to 40 millimeters. As previously mentioned, this formula is used for calculating the pressure and we get this formula after we have completed the simplification process. Indeed, we should draw the diagram of this formula. We drew the diagram of this relation in Excel software and it can be clearly observed. Here you can observe the diagram having been drawn in Excel software. As a matter of fact, as you observe, P is dependent on X. And the pressure should be calculated for various X values. Now we intend to calculate the contact pressure using the Abacus software and following that compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those got from metal forming book. First, I will click on tools menu, then select path and create, continue, click on add before. First, select this point, then this point, done. And OK. I will click on Create XY Data, select Path, Continue. Here, be sure to tick on Include Intersection option so the intermediate nodes will be selected and the output will be recorded for such nodes as well. Here, you can select deformed, undeformed option, and it doesn't make any difference. Here, I will select the last frame, OK. Here, I'll select a C-press or contact pressure, and click on Save As. Here you observe the contact pressure diagram in which the vertical axis is contact pressure and the horizontal axis is the width of plates that variates from 0 to 10 millimeters. 
I will transfer the, this diagram to the Excel software so that I can compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those gained from the analytical solution. The first column is X that variates from 0 to 10 millimeters. The second column is contact pressure, the unit of which is megapascal. Here, the diagram having been drawn with blue color is the one obtained from the Alcas software and the diagram drawn in red color is the one obtained from the analytical solution based on metal forming book. As you observe, the results from the Alcas software have a good conformity with those obtained from the analytical solution. And these two diagrams are almost overlapped on one another.